Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amulya's Academy. We were discussing about matplotlib package and in that we were discussing about different types of plot. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the line graph and today in this tutorial we'll discuss about bar graph. Bar graph is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. In the line graph we'll represent the data using markers and we'll connect that markers using lines. In the same way, in the bar graph, we'll represent the data using bars of different heights. We can compare different types of data using this bar graph. To create the bar graph, we can use bar function in matplotlib. So let's see the syntax of this function and how it works. So this bar function belongs to pyplot module. So you need to take matplotlib.pyplot.bar function. And the first parameter here is x. Next is height, next is width and the default value for this is 0.8. Next is bottom and the default value is none. Next is align and the default value is center. Next we have data, default value is none and next we have keyword arguments. So this is the syntax of bar function. We have x, height, width, bottom align data and keyword arguments here x and height are compulsory you need to use this parameter to create the bar graph and the rest parameter contains the default value here x is nothing but the x coordinate values you can take x as the sequence of scalars next we have height you can take scalar or sequence of scalars it is the height of the bars Next we have width, width is nothing but the width of the bar. Here also you can take the scalar value or array like optional. The default value of width is 0.8, it is the width of the bar. Next we have bottom, it also takes scalar or array like optional. The default value is none, that is nothing but bottom will be 0, the default value is 0. It is the y coordinate of the bar basis. So bottom is nothing but the where you need to start the bar, the base of the bar. Next we have align, you can take center or edge as the value. Align is nothing but the alignment of the bars to the x coordinate. Next we have data, data is nothing but indexable object. And next we have keyword arguments, keyword arguments are used to change the properties of the bars. Here when I say scalar value that is nothing but you can have a single value. Sequence of scalar means you can have list of values. Alright, so let's see the example for this. Let's create the bar graph. So in the python file, first I'll import the pyplot module. So import. So I'll import pyplot as plt. Next, I need to use the bar function to create the bar graph, right? So plt dot bar. So here plt is nothing but matplotlib dot pyplot and bar is the function name. In the bar function, I need to mention x and height. These two parameters are compulsory. So x is nothing but the x coordinate value. So here we'll draw a bar graph to represent how many students are enrolled for PU courses like science, arts and commerce. So we'll represent that data using the bar graph. So here I'll take the x coordinate value as science, commerce, arts, the three PU courses. So here I'll take a list and here I'll take science, commerce, and arts these are my x value okay x coordinate value so here i'll take that and next i need to take height as i said i can take height as the scalar value or the sequence of scalar value that is nothing but i can mention a uh, same height for each course or the x value if the same number of students are enrolled for science commerce arts then i can take a single value here or I can take sequence of scalars that is nothing but the different value for different course. Here I'll take different value for different course. Here I'll take h equal to h is nothing but the variable name which will store height values. So here for science I'll take 200 and for commerce I'll take 300 and for arts I'll take 500 students are enrolled. I'll take the values like this. These are the random values. So here I'll take the height as h. These two are the compulsory parameters. So I mentioned this. So now we are done. So next 
I'll give the label to the x axis and y axis. I'll take label as courses and in the y axis we have students enrolled. Here height is nothing but how many students are enrolled for each courses. Okay, here 200, 300, 500. That will be represented in the y axis. That's why I took y label as students enrolled. And here uh, let's take the title for the graph. Okay, like this. And next I'll use show function to display the graph. So we are done with the program. Let's execute this. And here we can see our bar graph. This is the science, this is the commerce and this is the arts. Here courses is nothing but the X label. Students enrolled is the Y label. And here we can see the bar and here we can see the title. So here width of the bar is 0.8 that is the default value and it will take the default colors. So here we can see the bar graph. So now if you use same height for example 200. So that will be the height of each courses so here we can see the height of each bar is equal now if you want you can mention the same height for each courses or you can take the different height for different courses next if i want to change the width the default width is 0.8 if i want to change that to 0.4 i can take here 0.4 the third parameter is nothing but width right and here we can see width is changed now if you want you can take width equal to and you can mention the width or you can just take width here. Here we can see in this way you can change the width of the bars. Here also if you want you can change the width of all the bars. You can take the same width for all the bars or you can mention the different width for different bars. If you want to mention same width for uh, every bar then you can take width equal to 0.3 here. It will take width as 0.3 for every bar. Otherwise, if you want to mention different width for different bars, then here I'll take the values for uh, first bar. I want 0 0.2, 0 0.5. These are the width and I'll take 0 0.7. And here instead of width, I'll take W. So different width for different course. There are three courses. So I'll take three different width and let's execute this. And here we can see different width for different courses. You can mention the different width for different course like this. So next we have uh, bottom, right? This is nothing but the base of the bar from where you want to start the bar. So for now I'll remove this and here you can take bottom as 10 the default value is 0 it will begin from 0 if i take bottom as 10 here we can see here bottom is starting from 10 i can't show you the exact value but here bottom is starting from 10 if you want to start from 100 you can mention here bottom is 100 here we can see bottom is starting from 100 here also if you want you can set the different bottom for different bars you can mention the separate bottom for separate bars for that you need to take different value here for example i need to start the science bar from 10 this is from 20 and this is from 100 this is for the science this is for the commerce and this is for the arts so now here i'll take bottom as b and if i execute this now and here we can see different bars are starting from the different uh, places it is from 10 it is from 20 it is from 100 in this way you can change the bottom of the bars using bottom parameter so next we have a line that is the alignment of the bars to the x coordinate for example so now let's remove this here we can see the alignment the default alignment is center so here we can see these bars are present in the center of the x coordinate value right here also we can see if you want to change the alignment now first let me take here align is equal to i'll take edge i can take alignment as uh, center or edge so if i take edge and here we can see now it is beginning from here the left side 
if you want to make this alignment at right side for that you need to take width as the negative value next you need to take alignment as edge for example here i'll take width as default width is 0.8 right so i'll width as 0.5 here i need to take negative width and if now i take alignment as edge it will show you the right alignment now i'll show you here we can see right alignment if i take width as positive and if i take alignment as edge it will give you left alignment here you can see if you take center it will give you the center alignment so in this way you can change the alignment of the bars so next we have data so we are not talking about this here next we have keyword arguments using keyword arguments you can change the properties of bar like color edge color line width etc so let's see the example for this i'll take color as uh, by default the color is blue right we saw that so i'll take color as red now i'll execute this and here we can see the bar color is red if you want different color for different bars then you can take that here i'll take a variable called c and here i'll take three colors and here i'll take color as c and here we can see the different color for different bars and the next keyword argument here is line width you can change the width of the bar line so here i'll remove this so let's execute this here we can't see the line width because the line width color and the bar color is same the face color to change the edge color you can use edge color equal to and here i'll use edge color as red and here now we can see the edge the line width is 20 and the edge color is red you can take different edge color for different bars also okay so this is about the keyword arguments using keyword arguments you can change the properties of the bar like you can change the face color the color of the bar or the edge color or the line width and if you want more information about the bar function you can refer the documentation okay so i'll show you another example for this bar function here i took x value as the engineering courses cse ise ee ece mec and here i took y value that is nothing but the height of each courses how many students are enrolled for each courses and next here i took bar function x y is nothing but the height of the each bar and 0.4 is nothing but the width of each bar and here i took x label as engineering courses y label as students enrolled and title as students enrolled for different courses next i used show function next if i execute this here we can see our bar graph now if you want to change the color edge color line width alignment bottom then you can use other parameters okay so this is how we can draw the bar graph so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care